Hello, it's Papa Hector here again. And I've been receiving a request to make a video as to why you need an initial consultation, why do you need a consultation if you know what you want already, and why do you need a consultation specifically when you're working with me. So I want to explain this in video form. We have this on the FAQ at our site at greatestbells.com already as well. But I want to, um, and I believe I've written some articles before on this, but someone would like me to speak on this as well. So now, the need for a consultation. Let me tell you something straight up that a lot of other spiritual workers and spellcasters aren't trying to tell you, is that everything can't be fixed with a spell. You can't fix everything in life with a spell. You can't always get what you want. Things cannot always go in your way or in your favor, okay? That's the first thing right off the bat. And a consultation is necessary to see if what you're even asking for is even worth wasting your time, energy, effort, or money, or wasting the spiritual work of luggage such as myself, time, effort, energy, or money, because time is money. And um, if that situation is not going to get at least helped by a spell, then there's no point in really doing the spell. That's number one. Number two is, the other situation is if you're a spiritual worker that works like me, I work with the spirits. And when you work with the spirits, you need the spirits to basically take on the case and ask the permission of the spirits and the spirits to accept the case. So the spirits need to accept the case in order to t for me to work for you or anybody who works with the spirits. Anybody who doesn't do a consultation for you first before you're doing spiritual work for you, run. Mo uh, like everybody does that I know of, Anybody of any legitimacy does a consultation before doing any spiritual work. Even when they're doing their own spiritual work, they consult with their spirits or do, consult, do their form of consultation or divination to find out whether it's do, worth doing, plausible, or, you know, what other things have to be taken into account when working on the situation. That brings me to the next point. Um, every, everybody's situation is different. And... You can want, let's say, something like returning a man back to you, right? And let's say that's at, you're at point A right now, and let's say that's at point E or F. There's A, B, C, D in between, okay? And there can be other situations, other things involved, other influences, other problems, other issues involved, that if that doesn't get cleared out and moved out the way or at least pushed somewhat out the way to give you a way to work around it, that spell or that love magic or that money magic or whatever type of magic it is, really, I'm just using the case of uh, love magic in this case, it's not going to work for you because those other influences can be way stronger than the in combined together, way stronger combined together than what it takes in order to break through them. And one spell may not necessarily be what you need. You may need other things in order just to get to that last thing. It, sometimes we can't go from A to Z all in one go. Sometimes it takes various steps on our part or various spells for us or wanga trabajo espiritual for us to be able to get to where we want to go. You know, and that brings me to another point. A lot of people have a lot of negative energy, and they carry a lot of negative energy with them and around them. If this can also create blockages for the manifestation of your goals and desires and your manifestation of the spiritual work that you have done. Cleansing is always a very important step. And one th this is something that's often neglected, you know, and a lot of people don't want to take the time, what it takes to do this, but cleansing is usually very, very important. And if you're carrying a lot of negativity, you have a very negative way about you, have a lot of negativity with you, it's going to be more difficult. Now, sometimes you don't need to cleanse or remove the negativity. You can do a spell, and the spell will be able to conquer the little negativities that are there. But if there's a lot of it, that needs to be cleansed and removed in the first place. And if your situation is being caused by a curse or hex, you have to find out what the root of your situation is. So if it's being caused by a curse or a hex, that needs to be found out first and cleared out first before any other spell to manifest a positive thing for you can work. And there's just a whole bunch of different situations as to why you need a consultation. And those are just 
that's like what I'll say the tip of the iceberg because there's other things that are involved too. The spiritual worker also has to take into account whether they have the time to take on your case and whether your case is a case that they want to take in, take on. And so when you come to me specifically and a lot of the good spiritual worker, you're going to have to have a hot consultation. It's going to be a required first step. Most people know what they want, but they don't know how they got where, they, where they're at and how to get things resolved. Also, a last note before I close out this video. Be very careful of free consultations. Why? Because you get what you pay for. And people like this are liable to tell you that they can fix anything with a spell. Sure, they can resolve your situation. They'll talk on any and every case, no matter what. I'd be very careful with free consultations because you get what you pay for. And a lot of times these same people incorporate what they would have charged you for a consultation in the price of your spell or spiritual work anyway. So either way, the consultation doesn't end up free. And I just be very aware, very careful because these people are liable to tell you what you want to hear and things like that. When you pay a spiritual worker for a consultation, if they're a good spiritual worker, you understand, we're not going to tell you what you want to hear just because, just because we want you to do the work. We're going to tell you what the situation is, what can be done about it, and what we can't do about it. And that's pretty much what it is. And whether you want to work with us or not, that's up to you. But when you pay the spiritual worker for the consultation, then they don't need to be, like, trying to reimburse themselves. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, for me, like I tell everybody, I'm being paid for my consultation. I consult you. I tell you the truth. I don't want to tell you what you want to hear. I want to tell you the truth about the situation, what I see, what the spirits are telling me, the truth of the matter, exactly and to the point. That way you can be happy. You can see, we can see a clear road ahead and see what we can do, what we can't do, what we have to do in order to get from point A to point D, okay, and take it on step by step. And whether I accept your case or and the spirits accept your case, because if the spirits – don't accept your case, I can accept your case. And if the spirits accept your case, that doesn't necessarily mean I have to accept your case. So if those two things, that way I can tell you if all that's in line, then we can work together and try to get you help and get you where you need to go. So I'm not interested in that, and I'm not interested in, you know, doing spell work for cases where there's no point in doing spell work because that's a waste of my time and my energy. And I have a list of people and a line of people waiting for me, so I don't need to ask you to do spell work that's pointless. So that's what you should be looking for, for a spiritual worker that's going to tell you the facts of the matter in the situation, and then you guys can actually take a clear plan from there. So I hope, I wish you the best. Much love to all of you, all my friends, all my clients, all my family members, to, you know, uh, all my all my clients, I see you like as if you were family too. So much love to all of you. And this is Papa Hector signing off. God bless you. Good luck. May the spirits guide you and protect you. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.